Your storm station forecast with Chief Meteorologist Josh Eaches. Monitoring a wet weather pattern for the middle of the week. We'll have a couple of days with some rounds of showers and thunderstorms, maybe enhanced by an area of low pressure in the north central Gulf of Mexico. There's really a low chance of development with this system. If it can get going, does not change the forecast much. Downpours would be possible either way. It's a really tight rainfall forecast around the area. What I mean by that is there's a sharp cutoff in lower amounts north and west of the city and higher amounts south and east of the city. Here's a look at that seven day rainfall forecast. The range of two to five inches across our area, but you'll see as we move toward Alexandria, amounts could be as low as about an inch. Closer to New Orleans, maybe like eight to ten inches. So any kind of small shift in where this area of low pressure sets up back to the west, another 50 or 100 miles would dramatically increase the rain potential in the Baton Rouge area. But at the moment, it looks largely manageable over the next seven days in our area. Now here here is the tropical satellite picture, and we're keeping an eye on some poorly organized showers and thunderstorms in the north central Gulf of Mexico. This is that area that has about a 30% chance of formation. But as I referenced, uh, where it drifts will mean how much rain we see in the Baton Rouge area. It kind of stays put as is the current expectation. This is a bigger problem for New Orleans and the coastal communities in Mississippi and also Alabama. Kind of complicating this forecast and really limiting the development potential of this system is this large plume of dry air we see in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere on the water vapor image. And that's kind of knocking a lot of the moisture closer to the coast and where that greater moisture is present. Obviously, that's where we Expect there to be more shower and storm activity, hence that really sharp range in uh, rainfall expectations around our region. For today, not unlike a normal summer day, pop up showers and storms. Not everybody is getting them. Most of the activity thus far has been focused along and south of I 10. We see in St. Gabriel a storm at the moment into White Castle and then just outside of Rosedale over toward Crotch Springs. That's the heaviest storm ongoing at this time. Temperature at Metro Airport 86 degrees, knocked back by some earlier cloud cover. We'll see see those temperatures uh, drop about 10 from here into tomorrow morning. Should be a quiet start to our Tuesday and like today, just pop up showers and storms expected in the afternoon. Uh, as is the rain forecast, the better chances are going to be south and east of Baton Rouge. Now, Wednesday is when we may see that low extend the uh, shower and storm action a little bit farther back to the west into our area, and those could bring some of those heavier downpours into the Baton Rouge area as we move into the evening hours for things quiet temporarily. Before we move into Thursday. Tonight, 76 and mostly clear. Tomorrow, we'll get to 93 degrees before some of those isolated afternoon showers and thunderstorms. There's that seven day forecast. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look like the busiest three of the seven day forecast right now. The clouds, the showers, and storms should keep us in the 80s. The weekend, a little bit questionable. Will that area of low pressure release away from us? And therefore, trend back to a normal summer pattern, stick around and keep it a bit busier. We'll eye that through the week. Quick check on the tropics. We do just focus on that one area in the north central Gulf of Mexico, the whole region highlighted by the National Hurricane Center, where there's that 30% chance for development is the north central Gulf Coast. Again, this doesn't happen by Thursday or Friday, probably not going to develop at all.